have a chair and have a table or a chair nearby for the relaxation at the end if you can do that. Otherwise, I'll give you options. <clears throat> so we're going to start standing next to the chair briefly, but most of it's going to be on the chair today. So have the chair next to you, your hand on the back of the chair, and just have it a comfortable height. So if it's a folding chair, that's a really good idea. If it's a kitchen chair, it's a little higher, that's okay. You'll want your elbows slightly bent to bend. Stand with mountain pose, feet hip width apart, and plenty of room on both sides of your chair. So holding your chair just for balance, we're gonna ground into the foot and then bring the other leg out to the side and then back down. So just do that a couple of times, shifting so the weight's in the foot and bring it back. Remember, keep your core active and supporting your spine. Everything's stacked just like in regular mountain pose and just get comfortable there moving that leg, just gently out to the side and back. And then bring it forward, just not really high, just a little bit forward, feeling your balance, how that changes it. And just gently back and forth. And then bringing the foot back. And again, notice how that changes it. What you're doing with the hand on the chair as you do that. And then holding the chair fairly firmly, we're going to do a balance balance practice. Just a little stick. So get your base of your toes connected, not your toes. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up or active, we're pivoting at the hip joint and bringing that leg slightly back, and then keep pivoting right at the hips and bring your body as far forward as it feels good. So you can go as far as parallel to the floor, or you can just come part way. Either way, just keep that foot hip with the part behind you as it goes back. And then standing back up, release your chair, Get even into both feet and move to the back. And then holding again onto your chair gently. We're just going to keep the feet hip width apart and rise up onto your toes, lifting your heels. Find your balance. If you can, you can release your hands and then bring the heels back down. And then lifting the toes, lean back on your heels slightly. And then back again onto your feet and step to the other side of your chair. I'm shifting it a little so I can get my leg out to the side. So again, holding onto the side of your chair, just bring the leg gently out to the side and back to it. Out to the side, just a few times, moving it and releasing it. And then bring it to the front. Feeling what's different, keeping that core active, keeping the rest of your body, remember, straight, shoulders relaxed, and then bring the leg back. And again. And then we'll come into the balance. So make sure that you're not gripping with your toes, that everything is aligned, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, and we'll come into our pivot. So bring the foot up. You can keep your body as straight as you can, arms next to you as you pivot. You can go again as far as parallel to the floor with your body if that works for you on this side. And again, just gradually coming back up and into mountain pose. Take a breath and relax and come right to the front of the chair. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Bring your arms next to you, and then out, palms toward the ceiling, right above your shoulders. We're gonna do our chair squat right into the chair. So take a moment, keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down, the core active, and then start sitting toward the chair. But remember, your knees don't go beyond your toes, so your sitting bones go further back, further back, Make sure that chair is situated behind you. And just come into your squat. 
as deeply as it feels okay. And then you can release your hands, check for the chair, and sit. So as you get back into your chair, just make sure your sitting bones are toward the front of the chair and the knees are right above your ankles and the toes straight ahead. We're gonna hold on to the chair just gently and then rotate like we're getting in and out of a car. So bring your both knees over to one side and then lift them back to the center and then to the other side so that we're practicing getting into the driver's side and the passenger side, because that's the way that when you sit in the car seat and you pivot into the car, it saves your lower back and makes sure that you don't bend incorrectly. So just take a moment there, feel your body, feel those feet connecting evenly to the floor, and we'll do our usual warm-ups, but in a seated position. So chin into your jugular notch, rolling down, just doing our growling, exhaling, bringing those ribs back, and just allowing your body to come as far toward your knees as it wants to. And then rotate your face forward, and looking slightly up, lift your heart, drop your shoulder blades, come all the way back up into a slight back bend. And then again, bringing those ribs back, the chin in, rolling down, exhaling into that bow toward your knees. Get your whole body rounded, and then rotate again, face forward, lifting your heart, coming back up. A little back bend at the top, and again, coming into your seated position, and tucking the chin, rolling down, exhaling all the way. And once more, just rotate the face to the front. And again, lift your heart, coming all the way up into that little gentle back bend at the top. And then exhale and come into your seated position with that core active and supporting your low back, your spine straight, your knees above your ankles, your hips, knees, and shoulders lined up and ready to do a side stretch. So we're going to hold the side of the chair and bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. And just keep this hand on the side of the chair, keep both sitting bones down, and lean to the side. Remember, the shoulders and hips stay facing the front, just like when we're standing. And that arm is right next to your ear, coming across. Feel the ribs stretching apart. Push the sitting bone you're leaning away from down. Make sure you're not going to fall off the side of your chair. And then come back up and release that arm out and down. Take a moment, feeling your sides. Yeah, we've got to balance and do the other one. So arm out, hand along the side of the chair, palm up and over your shoulder. And again, both sitting bones stay down as you lean over to the opposite side. Take a moment and breathe. The weight is on both feet evenly. And your arm is next to your ear, just opening those ribs, sitting bones both down, stretching the whole side as you're seated. Take a breath, just relax into it. And then again, inhale, coming up and release. Feel your body a little bit more energized through the spine from those motions, and we'll do our twists. So remember, just like when we're standing, we still want the spine stretching apart. So keep those sitting bones going into the chair and the base of the skull going up toward the ceiling, really stretching that spine apart. And just cross your arms at your shoulders, lift your elbows right at shoulder level, and then rotate, stretching the head up as you turn toward one side. Take a breath, stretch it out, just relax. Exhale tension, and then turn back to the center and release your arms because we're going to cross them the opposite way. It'll feel a little weird, don't worry. So again, hands on your shoulders, elbows up at shoulder level, stretch the spine apart, and exhale, turn to the opposite side. 
So just breathe into it, relaxing and stretching, going into your twist as deeply as your body wants. And exhale back to the center. Release your hands. Take a moment in your seated position, just feeling your body. Make sure you're not gripping your toes, just spread them out. And again, make sure those sitting bones are toward the front of the chair. Spread your toes. We're going to bring the opposite hand to the knee. We're going to stretch the spine apart again. This hand is going to come behind. And again, turning, rotate your shoulder down toward the knee so you get a little stretch with the twist as you turn toward the side. Just gently, as deeply or as gently as you want. Exhale any tension. And then coming back up, again, releasing your hands to your lap. Take a moment and bring the opposite hand to the other knee, hand to the side, stretch it up. Exhale, turning and rotating forward as you come into that twist. So again, just as much or as little as your body wants to go into your twist, your knees stay right above your ankles. Nothing is moving in that lower body. And then slowly coming back up and returning to your seated position. Take a moment and breathe, feeling your body. And we'll start moving the lower body just a little bit. So bring your hands either onto the side of the chair, or you can leave them in your lap if you prefer. We're going to move one leg over toward the side, and then back to the middle, and then the other leg over to the side, and back to the middle, to the side, and back, to the side, and back. Get the leg as straight as you can as you stretch it out, just tapping the heel, bringing it in, stretching the leg, and returning. And then we'll do it a little faster, bringing them to that rotation a little bit faster, just feeling your body moving a little bit through that hip and pelvis area, along with the legs as you move it around. So make sure again, those sitting bones are toward the front edge of the chair. It makes it a little bit easier. And then bringing the feet back to the center, I'm going to slide the heels out and bring them back. So just a couple of times, just sliding out and returning. Sliding and returning. And then if it feels okay, hold on to the chair and bump the mat and together. See if you can lift them as they go. Just a little bit more challenging. So doing what's right for you only, making sure that you're not overdoing. Keep sliding if that works better for you. And then bringing the feet back hip width apart once again, release, and again, come into your seated position. So take a moment there, just breathing, feeling your body, exhaling any tension. And then take a moment to stretch your spine, drop your shoulders, and make sure that core is working for you. And then we're going to do just a little cat stretch. So rounding, bringing your shoulders forward, feel that whole back of your body going into a back bend. And then inhale, push your ribs forward, push your chest forward, look slightly up, Dropping your shoulders and your shoulder blades behind you. And you can keep your hands on your legs as you do this. Little cat's rotation sequence. Or you can bring your hands behind you. And do the same thing and get just a little bit more of a back and going as you go into that. So breathe into it. Exhale, just relax. And then as you come up, just stretch that spine and release back into your neutral position. Take a breath. Again, relaxing. Sink into your feet evenly. 
and up through the crown. And we're going to do some arm work. So bring your arms out to shoulder level. And we'll do some circles with the arms. So you're stretching your fingertips out, your head up. The core is active, supporting you. And you're just making those rotations with your arms, starting with sort of biggish circles, and then making them smaller. And then stop, turn the palms up, and circle the other way. So again, just circle it both ways, stretching it out and making the circle smaller. And again, just stretch the fingers out, the thumbs inside, fists just gently curling around the thumbs, one up and one down. So the thumbs or the fists are pushing away and you're rotating fists, one up and one down, just gently moving side to side, getting those elbows working with the fists and the whole arms. And then we're really pushing the shoulders into it. So the shoulder comes forward as you roll that fist back. And get that massage going all the way across that middle top of your body, all the way into your spine. And then releasing the shoulders, just the arms, moving gently in that rotation, and then just the fists, and then tightening the fists, both fists down, push it out, and shake your arms out, releasing. Take a moment, breathing, feel your body, exhale any tension, and then bring your arms out again, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, Shoulder blades down, shoulders away from your ears, fingertips toward the ceiling. And we're just going to make some circles with our arms both ways. Again, just circling around, moving the arms. And then planting your fists, pushing them up. And then push one side up, and then the other. Just rotate one side up and the other, and then push both arms up, push, 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 but keep the shoulders down, I know it's a challenge, and then bring the arms out, palms toward the floor, and back down, just releasing and relaxing through the arms. Take a breath, shoulders relaxed. And a little more arm work, we're going to do an eagle arm, so bring your arm out, Bending it up, other arm out, bring it under. See if you can put the hands together, otherwise just the backs of the hands. And bring the up thumbs near the ear, near the nose. <clears throat> Pull the elbows down and in. And then push them out and raise your arms a little bit. Feel that stretch across the upper back. Exhale any tension. And then whichever arm's on top, bring that leg across and see if you can tuck the toes behind your leg. So a little seated eagle pose. No balance involved, just stacking. And then fly your eagle away back into your seated position. Feel your shoulders, your upper back, your arms, your chest, and yeah, no balance. So the opposite arm out. Bending it, bringing it to the center. Opposite arm out at shoulder level, pulling it under. See if those palms touch or the backs of the hands. And again, pull the elbows down and in. Relax across the shoulders, and then the elbows go out and the hands go up. Take a breath, and then bring your leg across. And again, see if you can tuck that leg behind you into your eagle legs. So a little stretch on the hips as well as through that shoulder area. Take a breath, let it relax. Feel the shoulders and fly your eagle away. And again, coming back into your seated position. Take a moment, just breathing. And a little bit more work through the midsection and the legs. So we're gonna march from one foot up and then the other. You can 
put your hands right next to you on the seat, making that a little bit easier. And as you do that, just bring your knee up as far as it wants to go. And if this is a good pace for your march, just stick with that. But if you want a little bit more, bring your knee up toward your heart and then the other. And just pull it in as much as it wants to go. And if you want, you can bring your hands around the leg as you pull it in. Optional, remember, if you need those hands on the chair, keep them there. Just letting that get a little bit more work into the hips, stretching through. And if that's good for you, you can stick with this version. Or we're gonna go once more, a little bit more intensely. So when you get the leg up, hold around the ankle and straighten the leg as much as it wants to. And then bending and releasing. And then the other leg, laying it in as far, holding the ankle, and again, straightening the leg. That's what's working for you as you're seated. Remember, don't bend forward. We're just keeping the back straight. We're using those core muscles for support, bringing the foot back down. So if that's working, you can continue doing that, or you can hold the toes and straighten the leg maybe a little bit more and coming a little bit higher. And again, bending and releasing, pulling it in and stretching the leg and releasing. And you can keep doing that first version or the later versions if you love it. Or we're going to do a different version if you prefer. So coming back to your seated position, straighten the leg, push the toes up and the heel out. And then we're going to take the arms and reach for that foot. Keep the knee as straight as you can. Sitting bones are on the edge of the chair. And stretch. Feel that stretch through the back of the leg as well as the back of the body. And then release, coming back up, and bend that knee, and straighten the other one. Again, pushing the heel out, toes up, arms out, and around, reaching for that toe. And again, stretch as much as feels okay for you. Breathing into it and stretching. And releasing, coming back up, foot back into hip with the foot. Take a moment, feel that core a little bit more activated after that work with our arms and legs. Exhale any tension, and then bringing the legs apart, toes toward the front, coming into a kind of seated goddess position. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, bending your elbows. So feel your goddess pose, sitting bones are down, crown high, core active, shoulders down, and fingertips right above the elbows, knees and ankles, of course, as aligned as you can make them. Stretch up, and we'll do a little twist in our goddess position. So really, sitting bones down, crown, base of the skull up, exhale, turn your whole body toward the side. So the hips are moving slightly as you turn your ribs and your shoulders, turning your goddess to the side. Take a breath, stretch up through the crown, exhale, turn back to the center. Keep those arms out across from each other at shoulder level, and we're going to twist the other way, stretch it apart, exhale, turn to the other side. And again, deepening as much or as little as your body needs in your twist. Take a breath. And again, exhaling, turn back to the center. Take a moment and breathe, arms out, shoulders down, and bring the feet back into hip width apart. Take a breath. Exhale, any tension. Sitting bones still toward the front of the chair. Get it comfortable. And we're going to bring the foot up and put the ankle on the knee, a little figure four version seated. 
So this knee will probably be up in the air a bit. That's okay, wherever it goes in your body. Again, you can put your hands there for a little extra stretch through that hip rotator. If that is a thing that you would like to do. Remember, figure fours are good no matter which position you're in for that sciatica stretch at the lower back. So just be gentle as much as you want and need. And again, we're going to do a little twist. So stretch up and returning toward that knee. So take your opposite hand to that knee, bring the other arm to the side of the chair and turn toward the side or toward the back. Remember, stretching your spine apart, going into your twist, just as deeply or not as your hip and your body want to go. Take a breath. And as you exhale, turn back to the center, lift the knee, and put the foot back down. Take a moment and breathe. Of course, we're going to balance and do the other side. So once again, ankle coming across to your opposite knee, knee coming toward the floor as much as it wants to. It can be up, don't worry. Just let it be where it needs to be in your body. Just relax through the hips, through the legs, knee above your ankle on that foot that's down, hand going to the opposite knee, and again, bringing the hand to the side or the back of your chair as you twist a little deeper into the twist. Only going as deeply as you want, exhaling, feeling that twist, just relaxing and breathing, allowing your twist as always, never forcing it. And then bringing your hand around back to the center, lifting your knee, bringing the foot back down. Take a moment and breathe. And we're going to go into our relaxation right here in our seated position. But we're going to want a table in front of you. Cross your arms and bring your head to the table, just like you did in lunchtime at school. Or if you don't have a table, but you do have a chair nearby, just bring the chair with its back in front of you to serve that same purpose. And again, just crossing your arms, bringing your hands over. If that's not an option and you don't have a chair or table nearby, bring your elbows to your knees and your palms of your hands on your eyes and the fingertips up towards your forehead and just rest that way. Rounding your back, it doesn't have to be straight for this one. Just let go. Or if you are more flexible, you can put your crossed arms on your knees and bring your head all the way down. So whichever option works for you, just come into your relaxation position. I'm going to use the chair because it's a little easier to talk. So forehead on your arms, whichever position you're in, or your hands. If you're on your elbows, take a moment, just let the spine release and relax in a little gentle forward bend today as you're in this relaxation posture. Relax your belly, allow your knees to soften. Just keep them hip width apart right above your ankles. Exhale any tension. Just let your body. Just sink deep into that heaviness, letting it go. So forehead heavy on your arms, on your table or chair or knees or wherever. Exhaling, letting your whole body get a good job softening and sinking. Feel the earth supporting you in your sitting bones and your feet. Bend your arms wherever they are. Deep breath, just breathing, letting your body release and relax, and allowing your mind to release and relax as well. So remember, let your mind just drift in and out, thoughts coming and going as they will. Letting that awareness release the content of your body and your thoughts. Allowing the awareness just to turn into that peace within. Filling your body with peace. Filling your mind with peace. And again, always taking a few moments being peace.
breathing deep into the peace. You can keep relaxing as long as that's comfortable for you today. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just in releasing, breathing more deeply, bring that chair or table out of your way as you sit back gently up, bringing your knees again up toward your heart, giving yourself those appreciative yoga hugs, just like we do when we're seated. Bringing the knees in, wrapping your arms toward your heart. If that works for you, leaning back into the chair. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, stretching your body, just relaxing. Bringing your feet to the floor, add your back into a little back bend before you sit fully upright again. As you come into your upright position, just bring your awareness back to the moment allowing yourself to get ready for the rest of your day. And one more practice, if you're ready for it. Bring your arms out to the side, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. And we're going to do the reverse chair squat coming up, coming onto your feet. So swing those arms just slightly forward, bringing your sitting bones up, knees above your toes, not beyond. And if that's a good pause for you there. Stop and come on all the way up and into mountain pose. Thanks for joining me.